Someone without spending money. Yeah, yeah, and I will talk to you my own experience. And you can change someone's living. So, you know, uh, the hospital is not a good place. You must be there when you are sick, but it used to be sad. It's not good to be in a bed alone almost all the time. There is stubs in your nose, needles in your skin, and uh, for a child, it's worse. I don't know if you have been some experience like that, but if you had, I'm pretty sure that you can remember that it's not easy to forget. And uh, all the situation is necessary, but it's sad. Can it be different? No. Why not? It can be awesome for a baby, for a child to be in the hospital. If uh, it has someone, then uh, give me, give him uh, happiness, then uh, make the day better, because uh, everyone wants to be a little bit happy. So the first uh, that did this was Bat Adams. It was the first clown therapist, and you can see. Yeah, there is a move about it. Have you ever seen this move? Yeah. It's a very good move. I recommend it. It's about his history, about calm therapy. It's a very good practice. It's with Robin Williams, so it's really good movie. He is a good actor. Anyway, when you are doing clown therapist, you are giving someone a gift. And uh, this gift is absolutely free. And uh, is happy, fun, happiness, sm a smile, small things that um, make someone feel better. But uh, sometimes it's really difficult because you can find uh, the situations that are not absolutely happy. So you have to be uh, really strong and uh, you have to, to prove with yourself that you can do it. And, uh, but when you see smile on the children, it's, uh, I think that's really, really awesome. So, and you can do it uh, without giving money, because usually we know when, uh, we, when someone asks us to help each other, they ask us money. They ask us money because they need the, uh, but here, nobody needs money. The children don't need money, they need happiness. They need to be happy. They don't, uh, they don't want money. And uh, also they can give you something. They can give you a gift also. But uh, this will explain Louisa in the, her own experience. I used to be a clown therapist. I did it for two years and it was awesome. Very good experience. Uh, it was during the high school. This is the, the logo of our group. It's in Portuguese, Pronto Sorriso. It's like uh, to give a, a smile fast. When someone needs a smile, we are there with our ready smile. And uh, we used to go every week in this hospital. It's the public hospital in my city. And like, uh, I don't know, in Brazil, the public hospitals are not so good and they are always crowded, a lot of people, because most of them cannot pay for uh, medical care. So they look for this kind of hospital. So there is a lot of children in this hospital, a lot of. And we use it to do visits here every week. We start asking for our colleagues to donate their 
old books, the books that he used to read when he was a child, and to donate funny things like this and this. <laughs> And also the toys. We know that doll that really love it, but you don't play anymore. We ask for our colleagues to donate it for our girl. And uh, we could use it with the children. And we invited everybody that had some time to spend with us in the hospital. And everybody that had a smile, good things to share. And the result was good. We were a group, about uh, 20 people, that visit the hospital every week. And I always come back home with some gift too. Every, almost every visiting the, the children use it to draw something for me. They always do me, oh, it's you, help me, it's you, play with me. And I still have this drones, they are very uh, precious for me, they are very important for me. And uh, love, we receive back all the love that you give. Our hard moments, but uh, in these moments that you are so weak, you can show who you really are. And the kids in, in the hospital are very open to receive and to give love. And I was, some days I'll, I'll arrive and not so happy, but I always come back very happy, very full of the energy because I received so many love, so, so many good things for them. It was every time amazing. <coughs> I can remember <laughs> some histories. Uh, I, I can clearly remember the feeling when my mom was with her little girl. Uh, treating a cancer, she's almost four years, and she was crying, she uh, just uh, threw up a few minutes before, and the mom was tired, and it was a very sad environment, and then we arrived and <laughs> play and singing, and uh, in the same moment the feeling changed completely. It's a hard situation, but it, it, they can't face it. And it's easy when you have someone to help. And uh, nothing more valuable than to change, really change the someone feelings, to do someone laughing like that, someone that was crying. It's very good, amazing feeling. I can remember one girl, uh, week by week, she was our always in the hospital he had her feet broken and she always talking about her mother her father but i've never seen them and after three weeks a nurse told us her real history he had a, almost four years old too and their parents just abandoned her in the hospital so we are the only visitors she waiting for us every week because nobody will visit her just yes she's always talking about a father and mother but it's just in her mind it, it wasn't true and matter for this girl how different our visit made in her life and uh, when i i it, it was a very hard day for me when the the nurse told me that it, she didn't have any body for her she was abandoned and then I realized how this kind of uh, work is important mm -hmm. and for everybody, nobody likes to be in a hospital, but for our children it's more important. Don't you think that this is awesome? awesome. The clown therapist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of these for everybody. Yeah. Later we can make noise! Yeah. <laughs> yes.
cold. <laughs> it's my nose red. Oh, it is. It's red. <laughs> presentation and watching this video. Were you happy? Yes. yes. Were you, were you like that? Do you want to try? <laughs> do you want to take bananas everywhere? <laughs> like I don't know. Because if you were happy and nobody here is sick, can you imagine how is the feeling about children? Thank you very much. <laughs>